The Lord's peace be with you. I'm Pastor Stephen Jurdy, and this is Picture Time, in which I share a picture based on the Sunday School lesson for the prior Sunday to help focus the children during the week on that lesson once again. And that yet this is something that anyone can watch and enjoy. I simply take a nice piece of art. I talk about how it teaches us Holy Scripture for that lesson, and then you can share it. You can share it with your little ones in your family. You can gather them around and watch this together, and you can enjoy good art for the good word. So this past Sunday, what the Sunday School children learned about was sin. They learned about the fall, what is sometimes called the fall of Adam and Eve. God created Adam and Eve. He gave them everything necessary for life. And he gave them just one simple rule. He said, don't eat from this particular tree, the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And they didn't do that. They took some of the fruit and they ate of it. They did not listen to God's word. And so as a result of that, God shooed them out of the Garden of Eden. And he had them go and settle east of Eden under the power of under the guilt of that sin. He remained committed to them. He continued to love them, but still that sin changed their life and it changed the world's life. One man who painted a picture of that moment when Adam and Eve were shooed out of the Garden of Eden, when God said, get out of there, you can't be there anymore, is a man named Benjamin West. And he painted in the 1700s, and here is the picture he painted. It is called The Expulsion of Adam and Eve. And I am going to put a link for that picture down in the comments as well. And what you see in this picture, if, as you take a peek at it, is you see an angel, a cherubim here, shooing or scolding and telling Adam and Eve they can't stay in the garden anymore. Here's Adam. See how he has his face covered because he's so sad? Look at Eve. She's holding on to Adam. Adam looks like he's almost dragging her out of there. She looks very stricken and unhappy. He, she looks very sad. He looks very sad. And so we have a picture here of Adam and Eve being cast out of the garden by an angel who looks almost fiery. See how the hair of that angel is standing up? He's got both arms out. It's almost a scary picture. There's no green, beautiful trees. There's no lush, beautiful flowers. There's no animals all, you know, playing together anymore. In fact, if you look down in this corner, it's hard to see in this picture, but maybe in the link that I put, you'll see it better. You'll see that the serpent who fooled Adam and Eve into eating the fruit is also being cast out of the garden and behind there, there's two horses, and they're being attacked by a lion. And so not only did things get worse for Adam and Eve after the sin, but so did it for the rest of the world. And up here, too, you see two birds. And it almost looks to me like an eagle is attacking a pelican. An eagle or a hawk is attacking another bird up there in the sky. And so there's fighting in the world, there's sorrow in the world. It's an unhappy time because that's what happens when we sin. Sin brings sadness into our lives and the lives of other people. And that's why God doesn't want us to do that. However, there's also something in this picture. Actually, there's two things in this picture that give us reason to hope and that show us that God's love is more powerful than sin. And the very first thing, if you look very closely, you'll see this is Adam's foot and the angel's foot. And those two feet, Benjamin West, the artist, put together, we think for a reason. Because God had made a promise. And the promise was that one day the descendant, that is, one of the people who would come from Adam and Eve, just as all of us come from Adam and Eve, God promised that one day, one of the people who came from the family of Adam and Eve would use his foot to crush the head of the serpents. He would use his foot to crush the evil one. And in fact, that happened when Jesus came. 
Jesus didn't actually, according to anything we have in the Bible, stand on a snake and crush his head with his foot. But Jesus did crush the power of evil. Jesus crushed the power of sin by dying for us on the cross. The other thing to notice is that Adam and Eve are wearing clothes. See that? They aren't wearing leaves like you sometimes see them, where they just took some fig leaves and sewed them together. They're actually wearing clothes. And we're told in the Bible that it was God who gave them those clothes. And so God gave them the protection of clothing and the comfort of clothing, even though he was angry about their sin. So God is a God who does not like sin, but he keeps loving sinners. That's good news. God doesn't like sin, but he keeps loving sinners and promises that things will be okay in time. In fact, one more thing to notice. Notice how this whole picture is kind of brown and dark, and yet right up here, right up here, we have a little bit of light coming through the clouds, and maybe even the pelican and the hawk have something to do with that, because in our church, a pelican is sometimes a symbol of mercy. And mercy is where God shows us kindness, even when we don't deserve it. So that's the picture for today, a reminder of what we learned in Sunday school this past Sunday. And if you are learning Sunday school at home, I hope you enjoyed this picture as well. And God bless you all. He loves you very much. And even though we don't always do everything right, even though we do not love God as we should, he loves you. And his love is more powerful than anything else in this world. His peace be with you.